everyone, my name is Colleen Peters. I'm the Director of Education here at Ripley Waterfall Conservancy. Thank you so much for joining us on this beautiful sunny day. So today for this species highlight video, we are going to take a look at the Harlequin duck. So as we shift our focus over to this species, you'll notice that we have two different types of birds in front of us. The Harlequin is the smaller of the two sea ducks. The other one that we won't really focus on but maybe talk about at a later date is the spectacled eider. Now the harlequin in front of you, we have two males and two females, and the harlequin is a small diving duck. Um, so this species is able to dive up to depths of 70 feet, and they can hold their breath during that dive for about 45 seconds. Now they primarily dive like this while foraging for food. Um, their diet mostly inc uh, includes aquatic invertebrates. Now, you can really see the variation between the coloration for the males and females. Our females are this light brown color in front of us with that white dot on its cheeks, but the males have these really beautiful and drastic coloration patterns, including that russet brown, the black and white, and then also their feathers can look slate, slate blue in certain leggings. Um, now, when this species forages underwater, they propel themselves forward utilizing their feet and they actually stretch their wings out a little bit to help them steer. As we're entering into breeding season, we might catch a few displays on the video today. Um, but this species is a little bit unique because it can remain monogamous or stay with its same partner over multiple breeding seasons. Now as this species is a spectacular diver, uh, its young follow suit and harlequin ducklings are able to start diving at around three or four weeks of age. Now this is a species of least concern in the wild and it's actually supposed to be increasing in number. Thanks so much for joining us.